Representatives of political parties that have pledged support to incumbent President Ranil Vikramasinghe for the upcoming presidential election convened at a hotel in Batra Mulla under the patronage of the President. During the event, 34 political parties and alliances signed the Puluang Sri Lanka Convention, confirming their support for Vikramasinghe in the presidential contest. Karwagamatya Dinesh Gunordana Mettumage Sampraptiai Mesi Dabani Ramesh Padirana Mettumage Sampraptiai Prasanna Ranatunga Mettumage Sampraptiai Ali Sabri Mettumage Niochenei Mesi Dabani Sri Lanka Nidhas Pakshe Niochene Karamin Nimal Siripal the Silla Mettumage Sampraptiai Navalanka Nidhas Pakshe Niochene Karamin Garu Kumar, welcome Metumage, Sampratiai, Samagi, Chanabalavege, Niochene, Karamin, Garu, Rajita, Senarat Metumage, Niochene, Prime Minister Dinesh Gunwardana inked the agreement on behalf of the Mahajana Eksat Peramuna. Ministers Nimal Siripala de Silva and Mahinda Amaravira signed on behalf of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, while Ministers Ramesh Patirana, Prasanna Ranatunga and Ali Sabri signed on behalf of Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna. Minister Susil Premajayanta represented the new alliance, while MP Anurup Predarshanayapa signed the agreement on behalf of the Podujana Eksat Peramuna. Minister Tiranales inked the agreement on behalf of his United People's Party. The Samagi Janabalavegya was represented by MPs Rajita Sena Ratna and AHM Fauzi. MPs Asanka Navratna representing the Sri Lanka Mahajana Party, Kumara Velgama for the New Lanka Freedom Party, Udena Kirindigoda for the Freedom People's Congress, Mohamed Muzammil for the National Freedom Front also signed the agreement, while the National Congress was represented by ALM Ataullah. Several other political parties were also party to the convention. <laughs> Reviving a country is an unforgettable achievement. You took over the country during the worst crisis that we witnessed during our lifetimes. Thanks to your leadership, the country is gradually rebuilding itself and moving forward. Against such a backdrop, all of us have joined together to strengthen that journey. With my over five decades of experience in politics, I can confidently say that no other presidential candidate is on par with you. We signed this convention to show that Sri Lanka can. This presidential election will decide the country's future. Other candidates ask people to think of themselves and vote for them. I will not ask that of the people. What I ask of the people is to think of their future and cast their vote accordingly. We had to take some difficult decisions. Taking those decisions did not give us any pleasure. However, we did that for the country. We held lengthy discussions and accepted the challenge. After we accepted the challenge, we were able to control inflation. Then we initiated welfare programs such as Asfasuma and tripled the Samudhi allowance. We accomplished these tasks during the height of the crisis. Further, we have provided land ownership to 2 million people and home ownership is being granted to residents of Colombo. In 2023, we provided salary increments and allowances to government employees and did so again in 2024. What other government has granted 20 to 25,000 rupee salary increments? The highest increment that was previously granted was 10,000 rupees in 2015. Now, we must decide whether we continue this progress or lose it. It took us two years to get here. We must decide how to develop the nation and create a better future for the youth. We have formed a new political power. We came together while other political parties collapsed. We must continue this journey for another five years. Therefore, I request that you join us in this journey of making Sri Lanka a great nation. <laughs> In the meantime, Deputy Leader of the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress, MP Ali Zahi Maulana, met President Vikramasinghe at his election office on Flower Road and pledged his support to the President for the upcoming election.